Hello everyone, it's Tano. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm working with the Aloha Pineapple stamp set and the Cherry on Top stamp set. And then I have the Clouds in My Coffee stencil and Catherine Puller inks and Cotton Candy and Pink Champagne, I believe. I know it was just on the screen there for you. So my idea for this was to make a very pink sky. I wanted something that reminded me of... Oh, what's it called? That ice cream I like. Oh, I can't remember the name of it. But it tastes like uh, amaretto and it's got cherries in it. I will find out what it's called and I'll put it on the screen for you guys. Anyway, I'm going back and forth between the two colors and I'm switching the stencil sides every time I go. And I'll tilt it this way and that. You know how I do these. I've done a couple of cloud backgrounds full-size cloud backgrounds and then we skip ahead to it being finished and I'm using some double-sided adhesive to adhere it to my first slimline card in quite a while guys it's been a while right so I have all these cherries I colored up and we're going to make a background scene with them because the sentiments gonna kind of be the focal point of the card so we're gonna use Oh, I don't remember what it says. We'll find out in a second. But I'm going to stamp it in black, and I believe I heat emboss it with clear embossing powder. Yep, Versifying Clear Nocturne Ink. Keep Calm and Cherry On. I really liked that one. That one cracks me up. It makes me smile. And I hope it makes whoever gets this card smile. Although we all know that I'm kind of a slacker when it comes to sending out cards. So now I'm going to take my time and adhere all of these to the card with Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. And I even go ahead and chop a cherry, a group of cherries in half so that the bottom of one is hanging up at the top there on the left hand side. And the top of it is down in the bottom right. And then I took three smaller single cherries. I think it was three. Nope, two. And put them on either side of the sentiment. And I don't think I heat emboss that sentiment. I'm surprised. Usually when I use that ink, I heat emboss. And then I took some red, like, pearl gems, half pearl gems, and put those onto the card. Now, do you guys remember this panel? We're going to use it today. I have uh, full-size post-it stickers covering the watermelon slices as a mask. Then I'm going to take this snap tape and mark off between the sky and the grass. I'm using uh, Distress Oxide and Peacock Feathers. And we're just gonna kinda do the same thing I did with the cherry card. Except I kinda, I find a spot where my clouds will match up so I can extend it to the all the way to the other end of the slimline card. And now we have our clouds. And then I'll replace the snot tape so that I have only the ground exposed. And I'll do that ground, or grass rather. I'm going to use uh, Twisted Citron and then Mold Lawn. I have so many images still to use on cards. So if I make any more, I will post them on Instagram for you guys. Just so many. And they were all so cool. It was hard to decide what I was going to make. And then I used my Nicole Upper and Lower Alpha dies. I decided to use the uppercase ones on this card to uh, cut out the word melon with an exclamation point. And then I went over all my seeds with a black glaze jelly roll pen. So I'm going to adhere all these with my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive, and I made sure I used fun, colorful, well, co yeah, colorful glitter cardstock because all my slices are full of color. It's so hard to choose the colors, too. I mean, I could cut out a million colors and not know which ones to place together on my card. 
that's when you make like six cards so you can use all the colors you cut out, right? And glitter card sack is so fun to use when none of the glitter comes off on your hands. That's like a pet peeve of mine. And then you notice, I, of course, I couldn't use the lower or couldn't leave the lowercase ones unused. So you guys will find out what I did with that in a second. So here I have a sentiment. I think it's thanks a melon. And I'm just going to do the thanks. Yeah. We'll heat emboss this one. Look at that. And my giant container of Wow Clear Embossing Powder. I don't think I've ever owned one that large before. But I'm almost out of my Nouveau Clear Embossing Powder. And the other stuff I have is ultra thick. So I needed some finer stuff. I stamped it three times because I wasn't loving the way it looked. And then I cut them all out <laughs> because I wasn't sure which one was going to be straight and which were going to be crooked. The life of a crafter, I'm telling you. Then I used my Nuva Deluxe Adhesive to adhere my card panel to my white 8.5 by 4 inch card base. It's just got that thin border all around it, so I believe that measures 8 and a quarter by 3 and 3 quarters. And then I picked the straightest thanksa and cut it out with a rounded sentiment strip and balanced it between the L and the O and melon. Added some clear droplets there. And that's it for that second card. And then I had this mini slimline card that I didn't show you myself making it, but I did make it. And it's the same sentiment thanksa melon. And that's it for this video, guys. If you like what you saw here today, don't forget to hit that like button and the subscribe, or the subscribe button, the like button, and the bell, so you can be notified. Don't forget to check out Instagram, where there's always daily inspiration um, from all the design team members. And don't forget to sign up for the Rabbit Hole Designs email, where you can be aware of all the new releases. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.